Alright, so do you need a certain offering to do this? Nope. So you want me to just okay. stay still or what? No, no, that's fine. Just run to me in the center. Like I'm in the center of the map, just come to come to center. Okay, here, all right, so follow me. So you're gonna watch precisely what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go all the way over here, as far as I can to one end of the end of the map. Wait, should I'm I watch your screen? Your watch yeah, your yeah, screen. watch my screen for now. So I open my portal, right, and it's a non-open portal, so you can't technically tear it down yet. But it doesn't even matter, even if it was an active portal. Wait, so how does it work? He's able to put down a portal, mm -hmm. and Normally, not activate. Right? Yeah, here. So normally, because uh, you don't even have them, I'll explain how he works to begin with. So when you put down a portal, right, mm -hmm. if you have not traversed through it yet, then it is not active. It is white on my screen, right, which you also don't see it physically, right? And then if I go through it, but the add-on I have makes it so it gets destroyed when I go through it anyway, but not, oh, the one I go through physically, right? But now it's open, and now it's a yellow portal. See? So now if I go, see, now it's yellow, which means you can see it. You have the whole oblivious status effect and all that kind of garbage. Wait, so who has Oblivious? You do, when you go towards it. Oh, is that normal? Yeah, that's how that's how it normally works, right? But normally for demos, uh, if I go through a portal, it doesn't destroy itself, right? But the add-on I have, which is the Rotten Pumpkin, which you can tell right there, that makes it so that if I go through a portal, the one I go through first, it gets destroyed. It's so I have pretty much an unlimited amount of portals if I want to. How many that's the can, first thing that how you, many can you put down at the same time? You can have six at most. So how do you decide which one you go to? By placing the portal, right? I want to put down to go through now. Oh, the right? arrow is okay. It's like like the yeah. dredge and the lockers. Yeah, here, let okay. me put this one over here. So it's wherever you aim. Yeah, it's wherever I look. See this one here, here, all that stuff. All right, all so right? you have to go so down now, one in order to get to another. Yeah, I have to have at least one down already. All right now, normally I'll just put that in basement. So what I'm going to do is going to put another one all the way across the map. Right? And now I need you to come over towards me. You want me to go over towards you? Yeah. Or unless I can carry you, it's fine. It doesn't make a difference, though. So. Here, so follow me over here. I just don't have dual monitors set up, so I'm going between the game and the yeah, that's, Discord. That's okay. Ooh, uh, look, here, I can, I can I'll just, see you I later. Bye-bye. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> here, so... Here, you can just look at my screen then, because I can I can pick you up, put you down. All right, so let me hit you once. Let me hit you again. I wonder if there's, a, if there's a way to make your screen sharper. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna place you on top of the portal because normally I put it down first, which so would be right it's here. It's not active. Yeah, it's not active, right? So now normally you'd have to hold Control to go through the portal, right? But then if I do it correctly, like that, I pick you up and I scoop you through. Right, so that wasn't, that was around probably 30 meters, right? So now wiggle out, if you can, on your screen. Because I'm being completely... You're invisible. Like, yeah, I'm invisible, right? At the same time, if you can hear my game, I have the sound of going through the portal the whole time. What? Right, so I'm getting completely just, really... my ears are getting, yeah, my ears are getting just destroyed. Right, so now really that was your from game, 30 meters. Your volume in your game. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay, that's all right. Yeah, but well, I mean, for me, I'm getting just blasted in the ears. But now, so because that was 30 meters, now you can't see me, and I can move all around normally and still attack and everything else. So you're right? completely invisible. Yeah. To everyone or just me? Everyone. So you're bugged. So where yeah, you're invisible. Yeah, bugged. Except your lights right? here. Yeah. Now the way to fix that is I just go through a portal normally. So let me just go through a portal normally, and I'll be back to visible. All right. Here. Okay, and now when I get out, I'm visible. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to put another portal back that far. I don't want to go to the farther, farther one. And you're going to see that I'm going to be invisible, but on my screen as well, I will also not be able to see. I'll be stuck in the upside down. So, let me drag you over here. Wait, why do they have to be a certain distance? I don't know. That's just how the bug... There's bugs in the bug. It's very weird, right? So now, let me get you down that portal there. Let me just pick you up a little bit further over there. So right, how'd so you bring me in you. it? You just you drop me on it, and you go mm -hmm. in the portal while I'm on it, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And it automatically grabs I me. Missed. 
Well, that's the thing. I have to time it right. What I do you have mean? To... You have to pick me up as you're going through it or something? Yeah, I have to let go of control one frame before I go through. And, and, and then hit space. Okay. So you have to pick me up, but it's like when you're at the tail end of teleporting. Yeah, alright, so now if you see my screen, I'm, I'm literally stuck in the upside down. See, I'm invisible on your screen now, but I can't see shit. This is all I see permanently until I go through a portal again. So, you, so when you do it by the basement, you're just guessing where the hooks are? Yeah, pretty much. Right? So now, let's see, uh, so I'm gonna go like next to this hook, it just goes invisible for me. So I have to just guess where I have to go, and I see the prompt and I hang you, but I'm not going to. But, yeah, so what I would have to do normally is either put them on the hook or drop them, find a spot to open a portal, and then just go through again, and I'm good to go. See, just like that. It's kind of complicated, but it works. See, I can do it from all over the map because portals go through the whole distance. So the bug is not only that you can bring someone through a portal, but it's also that you can become invisible and still attack. If I do, yeah, yeah. If I do it from the certain distance, like here is just enough. It's around thirty to four, uh, thirty to thirty-four so, meters. So the distance okay. from one portal to another is what makes it work. It, it's what makes me invisible for the yeah, for the invisibility part. In general, just going from picking someone up through a portal from a you know certain distance doesn't matter. I just have to time it right, in general. Okay, so very, one... very, weird. So one just teleporting through the portal with somebody is not reliant on the distance, but the becoming invisible is. It's reliant on distance, yes. So then what's the difference between how did you end up getting stuck in the dark? Because I did it from 30... F I did it from too far. If I do it from too far, right, past 34 meters here, or anywhere after, let's say here, so, you saw why I put the portal in the first time all the way back by that wall? So from that wall up to here, I can see. If I portal from at most this distance here, all the way to over there. Right, any further than this, I can't see. But you also can't see me still anyway, right? That's why I want to show you from too far, where I can't see, but I can still do it in general. But I'm also invisible. So it's the whole point, it's like, if I do it from too far, I can't see, but I'm still invisible. Does it make a difference? Because I would, you know, want to be able to see anyway. But if I do it from 30 meters and get just the right distance, then I can stay invisible practically the whole game if I want to. If I wanted to, but it sucks without portals. So yeah, it's... It's complicated. But there's layers of the bug. It's very weird. Now here, I'll do it again. Oh, whoops. Alright, here you go. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from too far this time. You're invisible right now. Yeah, no. Because I did it from the 30. And now, now I'm still invisible, but I can't see. So, we drop you on the portal again. I can't tell if you're on it or no. Alright, yeah. and then. I scoop you again. Now I got you again, but I can see. And can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Because it wasn't further than 30 meters. It was just before it. So now I can see again. You can see me because it wasn't too far. If it was from this little distance, just these two portals distance, then I can see. You can't see me. And anything further than this, I can't see. You can't see me. Make sense? So what you're saying is there's a sweet spot where you would become invisible and still be able to see. Yeah. Which would be in between not too short and not too far. Yep. So how do you know the distance? By either getting the sound cue, because I can't hear anything when I do it from too far, or well, when I do it from too far, right? Number one, I know I can't, you know, I did it from too far because I can't see. And number two, because the fact that, you know, it's just, it's very far. Right, so this is 30 meters, right? Oh, I messed up. Oh, let me do it again. Yeah, yeah, hard timing. Yeah, but I have to just practically guess and check by if they just pretty much give up, which a lot of people do, then I know I'm practically invisible, which is just kind of unfair. There we go. 
Okay, this was probably just too far, or was I? Am I invisible now? Yeah, you are. Yeah, and I can hear it. I can hear the sound cue. So I'm getting completely like the sound that I have going through the portal is the sound I have playing my ears continuously. That's how I know when I'm invisible. That doesn't always play though. I get, I would say 60% of the time it plays continuously until I go through a portal again. So, so you like see yourself though. Yeah, I can see my arms, my whole first-person view. Yeah. So now you're just back. Now I'm back. Because I did it from, like, you know, well, two meters, pretty much. Very weird, right? Yeah. And you don't think right a lot here. of people know about this? Nope. I would say 20% of the community know it. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I'm too fat to get on there. Oh, come on. Oh, I got it. Wait, wait, now I can... Yeah, you know about the certain things with Demo being able to go on top of, like, things, right? No, I've never played as Demo. I don't have him. Uh, I mean, you can still technically get him if you want to. What? CD it's like real expensive? From, yeah, like probably $70. I think it was 100 now on CD keys, so... But it gives you all of them, but it doesn't give you any of the cosmetics, which is unfortunate. Well, you said he's not a good killer anyway. He's not, but he's fun. He's my favorite. Even if I am not that great with him. He's the most fair, right? That people say that he's the most balanced, but he just sucks in my head. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Can I still hit you through that? I want to shred you. Hold on. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I can't play support on anything dumb. Oh, I missed. So control makes you go through the portal. You hold mm -hmm. it. Yeah, normally you just hold it all the way through, and then you go TP, and then, yeah, that's pretty normal. But for me, if I want to time it correctly, I got to go one frame beforehand. Like and that. start and spamming spacebar? Space no, you can't spam it. You have to hit it on the exact frame that the, the, uh, the prompt comes up. Right now I'm invisible, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, it was 30 meters. So where do, what does the prompt look like? It just says space. Here, let, let me, me drop see. you again. Yeah, let me watch it on your side. So it just oh, comes up really I quick. See it, yeah. You see that? It's really fast. Yeah, you see how I have like the black uh, it's like when you whenever you come undetectable, you get like the black stuff on the side of your screen. Pretty much I know if it's there for a lot longer than it should be, then I know I'm invisible usually. But yeah. We go like that, and you're gonna fall, right? Yeah, it makes you fall. Oh, I tried to get on top of the, the lamppost. Here, see, so yeah. So the counter to it is literally just move out of the way. If you see a demo doing this, you just move out of the way. As soon as they put a portal on you, just move. That's all you gotta do. So it's easily counterable. Like right here. So watch here. If you want to try to move, you can move. Right. Oh, I can't even portal yet. Yeah, what see, is there, yeah, a pull I, down I, for the portals? Yep, you just move out of the way of the portal. That's all you gotta do. See, now I can't do anything about it. Now I have to pick you up normally. But until I can place on the portal on you. There's nothing I can do. We have to wait for the portal to recharge? Yeah, the TP again. Here, so watch. If I plus you... Oh, come on. I didn't mean to do that. Here, so watch. Let me TP normally, right? And you can see in my screen, the bottom left, right about... Now. Yeah, you see, like, the square going through the, uh... Yeah, the highlight yeah, the again. recharge. Yeah. I have to just wait for that to go all the way up. I'll get a sound cue, and I can TP again. So is it good... Yeah, I can TP. Is it good for survivors to close the portals, or is it more of a waste of time? Usually it's just a waste of time, because it just doesn't make a difference, unless they're in really bad spots. Like, if, if, one, if one is, like, in basement, then you might as well get rid of that, which is what most people do when I play this kind of build. No, can't TP yet. 
Do your perks even matter in this build? Nope. Your items don't technically either. Oh, I guess to better I mean, hope makes sense because you're gonna get, get a lot of hooks quickly, yeah. And get distance through the portals. Yep. And the only reason why I have the two brown add-ons is one because I can have technically unlimited uh, portals, and the other one so I can open a portal fast. So if they don't decide to move immediately, I might have just an extra like couple seconds of a window to actually scoop them through. What do those add-ons do? The one to deletes your portal after you go in it, so that you'll always have another one. Yep. And then the rat tail makes it so I can open up a portal 35% faster. This also counters uh, comp cornering, right? So, for example, say that this hook is gone, right? Because someone else died in it or it's sabotaged for, like, I don't know, however long, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, and they it's crawl all over the corner, corner, and I can't do anything about it, right? This is the way that counters it. I just put a portal down. If they're too dumb not to move, then I just scoop them. Take them to the basement. Yep, I take them anywhere. Oh, yeah. As well, for... Um, for Demogorgon, right? So let me go like this real quick, and then let me... Hold on. I'm gonna show you something you probably didn't know. But just about Demo in general. Okay. Alright, so now you see how it's active, right? And you have Oblivious. I have Killer Instinct if you're at least within like a meter or two. If it's open, and you're next to it. Is this open? Okay, so once I'm... Yeah, it's open. Once it's glowing, is that when you get it? Yeah. Only if I open my mouth, which is shred, right? The, the big long lunge. Do you get it now? If I, yeah, if I see it right now, I'm not charging the shred, so I don't see it. Until I open shred, then I can see it. There's only one add-on that makes it different, which is the lifeguard whistle, which means I can see you with killer instincts at portals without having to open shred. Which is what most demos will use when they have to defend a totem. So how like is shred different? How do you use shred? compared to basic attack you hold right click right and then after like as soon as you see the black like that that means it's like half charged and when you do it for more than like like that second right that's that's half charge and then full is full charge it's like a second after holding right click what black are you it's, talking about it's kind of hard to see you see the black all around the edges of the screen when it does that? When I open up Shred. It's for it's really quick. Yeah, I'll look up the sky so it's easier to see it. Aim. Yeah. yeah. So you know, yeah. So how do you know what's half charged or full? Black is half, right? And then full is after another like half a second. See, that's full, and then black is half. So if you're charged for that, you can't just M1? No, if I'm charging for that, and I want to M1, I can't. I have to let go of Shred and then hit attack. But it has a small bit of delay. See, so let go, and yeah, then there you go. That's why you want to bait the people into doing Shred. What do you mean, bait them? For example... If someone is looping me around Shack, right? Most people, and I'm going, let's say, uh, if I'm going from that end, right? So they're going in through this door right here, and I'm coming in from this wagon, and they have maybe this much distance. So normally, people would either go towards the pallet or towards the window, right? Now, if they're confident, they'll go to the window, but if they know they're not going to make it, most demogorgons will immediately open their shred as they're going towards the door and hit them as they're going through, right? Now, the way to avoid that is either go to the pallet, which mostly isn't safe, or the people will run right towards the window and do the 360 around it so I miss, hit the wall, and then they have an extra couple seconds of running away. That's how you bait it. So as soon as you see them open the mouth all the way and you hear the sound cue itself, because I think they can from a certain distance, people, like survivors itself, then you know to try to bait them into it by making them run away or... You know, do a 360 out of it. Let me see what it looks like on you, uh, from my perspective. Alright. Okay, so, that, see the mouth okay. all the way open? Yeah. yeah, that move. So that's when right, I would, so like, go towards a window, 
Yeah, you want to try to go here. So, like, try to loop me, for, exa uh, for example. Can you heal, or... No, you don't have any. Okay. So, I want you to start... Uh, go here. Go through that door right here, right? Yeah. And then run towards the window. When I tell you to. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Like, run towards the shock window. You ready? Three, two, one, go. I hit the fucking mocker. Whatever. But you see... Right? Yeah, it's it's kind of hard for me to do as well. Here, let me let me redo it. Here, so go back there. Okay, and then run towards uh, window right. Uh, oh wait, here, go uh, go back to the, the window or the the door. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, just like that. When you see the mouth open, that's when you want to do it. You can see how much more distance you have, right? And now you can is pretty that much do it again. Wanna, is that when you want to juke, or is that when you... Oh, so you, you fake wanna it. You want to juke it. Yeah, I can fake it, too. You can fake it, or I can fake it. Because the thing is, I can just hold Shred, wait for you to try to do it, and then I can just let go of Shred. Just like this, right? And then attack with M1, or you have to force oh, okay. you to use so the power. either way, it's a mind game. Mm-hmm. There's two mind games. It's 50-50. Right? So then, yep. Guy just misses. Oh, but you actually blocked the window. I couldn't get out of it. Yeah. It's not safe. We want to just use the whole pallet, you know, door, or just turn on behind him. Some people have balls, and they'll wait for me to turn around, and then they'll go through the window and vault it. But, I mean, that's only happened to me, like, twice. If I actually miss Shred, which isn't often. But, yeah. Ow. Yep, but that's pretty much it, though. That it's really challenging, it's really fucking hard, but it pays off if you do it correctly 99% of the time like I do. I mean, if you wanted to be scummy, you really just have to do it one time successfully, and then you just be invisible the whole match. I could be, yeah, but I don't like doing that, that's not fun. Just making people lose like that. They probably DC, because it just looks like a hack at that point. Oh yeah, I've had plenty of people DC. As soon as I do it instantly, or, you know, even afterwards, they're just really mad. Yeah, this is the lifeguard whistle as I mentioned before. Because I can see uh, Killer Instinct even without charging uh, Shred. Do you get a noise notification or you just happen to notice it? I just I just hear the heartbeat and I can see the hexagonal thingy like through the wall. So if survivors are closing the portal, you get then it? I can see them too. Yeah, I get it too. Only if well, if without the add-on, I don't get it unless I charge Shred, right? If I'm holding mouse two, it's for like you can you can pretty much compare it to if he doesn't have his mouth open, his eyes are closed, right? And if his mouth is open, his eyes are open, which means he can see the portals, kinda, right? And then this add-on makes it so that I don't need to do Shred at all. I can always know when someone's around an active portal only, only if I went through it. So what you're saying is, if they're trying to seal a portal, you'll get the notification of Killer Instinct, you just teleport there and get them? If, well, I mean, teleporting there, I don't think it lets you teleport if they're closing it. I think they patched that out, because it was kind of broken, because as soon as you would know, you can just TP through it. I think they did patch that, I'm not sure. But, I mean, it doesn't make a difference anyway, because when by the time you notice that they're closing it, it's already too late for me. But yeah, oh, okay. I mean... So yeah, the rest you, of his add-ons are, are dog So it would really only work if they're within range for you to get there fast enough. Yeah. Why do they call him a puppy? Like, he doesn't look like a dog. That's because people like to touch him. They like to point at him. I don't know. People say he's demo dog. Oh, actually, no. You know why? Hold on. Let me show you why, actually. It's the idle animation when I'm in killer. Like, if I play Killer and I wait for him to do it, he'll either scream or he'll go on the ground and crawl. Just gotta wait for it, though. Come on, buddy. It might take a minute, but yeah. He goes on the ground, crawls, and just gets back up. I don't know why. Come on. Any minute now. You want them to do it, they won't. Yep, every time. Bad doggy. It's not as rare as like a Sadako, uh, what's it called, jump scare one. You know what I'm talking about, right? 
Uh, not sure. Like if, uh, for example, right? If I have her just on the menu, it's like a 5% chance that she'll just have her eye open and go right towards the front of the screen and just jump scare you. Happens really infrequently, but it does happen. Just her. I haven't played her enough to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have Pyramid Head? Or do you have Cheryl? I have everyone except for the Stranger Things. Okay. Do you... Uh, do me a favor, then. Have one of them selected, right? Just either one of them selected, and then go to the main menu. You'll see why. Yeah, like this, like, main, main, main menu. What main menu? Just like of the game. You just get, like, just have either of them selected and just go to the main menu of the game. Okay, and then when you're there, now you're going to have to type in, just on the menu screen, you have to press the these keys. Okay, W, W, S, S, A, D, A, D, right click, left click, enter. Not when you're in Survivor or anything, just in the main menu, though. Okay, yeah, I can do it myself with them, but you can't hear my game. But the way that you know you got it is you'll hear when the I, little tune. When I come back out, it just puts me on nurse. That's fine. You have to just have either of them selected. That's fine. Okay, what do I press? Okay, so do W, W, S, S, A, D, A, D. Wait. Yeah, W, W, S, S, A, D, A, D. Right click, left click, enter. Okay, I can, I can, I can message you in Steam if you want wait, me to. Wait, wait. a little... W W S S A D A D A D right click left click enter. You had to do it kind of fast though. <laughs> a little hard. That's weird. You get a free charm. Yeah, you get a free charm. Did you hear the song? Yeah. Yeah. Now you have the Vic Viper charm. A charm for Survivor. Yeah, you can check in Survivor or Killer. It's it's both. It's a purple charm. It would be... where is it? Yeah, for me it's page four. What does it look like? Yeah, it's a small little, like, ship. It's purple, though. Are they in order? Yeah, it's all alphabetical order. It's called Viper? Yeah, Vic Viper. V-I-C Viper. I don't have it. You don't have it at all? You, 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 well, you heard the song though, right? Yeah. You said it's purple. Uh, yeah, it should be purple. I have it on my screen right here. You sure you did it? Uh, Then you... I don't know. If you heard the song, it should have gotten it. Odd. You should just give it to you once you do it. You just have to have either of them selected and then it should just do it. So let me add in the purple section? Yeah. I don't see that. At all? Not if it's alphabetical. Uh, try to do it again, though. Because you definitely heard the song, right? The small little tune? Yeah. I don't know. You said WWSSADAD, right click, left click, enter? Yep. It's the Konami code. That's the whole point of it. The up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. That's the whole meme about it. This reminds me of a Nintendo thing. Eh, it's close enough. You obviously all know about all the uh, blood point codes and all that kind of shit, right? Are there current ones? There might be. I'll double check right now. I don't think there's anything new, but... Hold on. Uh, I haven't checked in quite a while, actually. The only new one is the Lovebird one. 
I don't know if he did that though. I'm looking at your stream, it should be there, but it's just not. You might have to restart your game though, I'm not sure. I don't want you to do, have to do that, but you might have to. What's the current code? Uh, it's Lovebird. No space. It's expired. It did? Oh. So it didn't on this one site. Damn. 